Can you ever have too many magic wands? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hello there to a mini week video with me, the Greg Who Lived, and in this video we're going to be checking out a new magic wand from the people at Wildwood Wands, which is in this box just here. A couple of things before we begin. First off, it got so bad, I had to get my mum to cut my hair. And she did a great job, but my hair has this thing where you cut it and it kind of shrinks up a little bit. So, I do look a little bit like a Lego man. But, it will grow, it's fine, but it was becoming unbearable. So, hats off to my mum, it was free, but fingers crossed it grows back fairly quickly. Second of all, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can see more of this and more magic every week. I'll be posting the links to that at the end of this video as well as some incredibly well created videos by myself and some playlists that I think you will absolutely love. But we digress. Let's get back to this video right here. And in this video, I am going to be showing you a new wand, which I have been gifted by Whirlwood Wands, who are a company that I have loved for over 10 years. It's crazy. And it all starts with a little fun story. I think 13, possibly. I remember that at the time, the Noble Collection Wands had come out and they were brilliant. You could get Harry's, Draco, Hermione, Ron, a range of character wands. However, you couldn't get your own wand. So, I had a look, had a look to see who made them, where you could get them. And at first I came across Alvians, which is an American company that make wands. And I loved what they had, but I wanted something a bit more unique. And then I came across Whirlwood Wands. Now, with Instagram, there is an explosion of different wand makers, so many creative people out there that are becoming really great craftspeople. However, that was not the case. When Instagram didn't exist, there wasn't Facebook Marketplace, getting things internationally shipped was a problem. However, saying that, Whirlwood Wands were happy to ship it to me here in the UK, and so I I'm sure it's for my 13th birthday, I got my very first Whirlwood's Wand, which was this one. Now this one, I have taken to me with the tour, I've done in a lot of different photo shoots, and it is incredible. I love the design, it's classic, I love these coloured bands, it's real wood, if you can hear that tapping, that is on my fingers, and I just love the design, comfortable, doing all the important spells, and it looks great in photos. Whenever I post this, I regularly get people that want to know where I got it from, and as I said, I've loved it since I was about 13. And this really started off my whole collection, when getting Noble Collection things was kind of out of my price range, I could only really get things at my birthday or at Christmas, couldn't really buy things myself because I didn't have a job, I was 13, but this I really treasured. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago when I realized that they were actually on Instagram and I started tagging them in all my posts, just saying how much I loved this product and how much joy and happiness it had brought me. And so they were kind enough to gift me, especially for my Ravenclaw cosplay which is yet to be photographed but they presented me with a second wand from the collection and I could choose any that I wanted a bit like a kid in a candy store there was a lot to choose from but I went for this one which is completely different to the first one which I think is more traditional I'd say this one is over the top decorative I love the different shapes it's got gold detailing over the top. Absolutely love this one. And I went for it because it is a completely different look to 
a lot of the ones that I've seen other people make, I've still never seen anything quite like this. And that's really why I liked Wildwood ones, because they have a range of different ones, and they're all handmade by the craft wand maker. Just, just love them. I think I've got such a soft spot for them as a company, because I have had this one for such a long time. But I did wonder if they did custom orders, and unfortunately I didn't, because I did want to get a version of this, which was really light wood with blue bands in it. However, they were really happy with me and the sort of reach that I've been able to give them, because I, as I say, I always post with this. I love the colours of it, I just love it. And it's very nostalgic for me. So they actually just sent me another one, and so it goes without saying that this is a gifted video. I did not pay any money for this, however, the opinions are very much going to be my own. I have not opened it. It is sealed, so I am incredibly excited to open it on camera, and we will see what my new wand looks like. Here we go, got a little scalpel, so we can neatly cut into the box. I just love opening wands. Really exciting. And so this is me at 24 opening a wand box. But imagine this when I was 13. Wildwood Wands come in this packaging, which is the same as when I very first bought my original design. They come in this wonderful packaging, which has their logo on it, and it's brilliant little card box. And then as we take the lid off, we have some nice purple tissue paper. We've actually got the www.worldwood.com, which is their website, and Worldwood Magic Wands on the box. Of course, it goes without saying, I will be putting their shop in the description below. So if you are interested, definitely check them out. But here we go, let's undo the tissue paper, and then we can have a look. Past the parcel, it's one layer. We have a Whirlwood's Magic Wand little card here, and it says Magic Cores, Phoenix Feather, Dragon Heartstring, Unicorn Tail Hair, Vampire Fang, Goblin Gold, Tarantula Leg, Crystal Point, Magic Key, Dwarf Unicorn Horn. Little pouch that has these contents in. So these are all the different ones that are in these collections, and I should also mention how they do have different collections of different ones that kind of all fit within a theme. Some Renaissance ones, which this one was themed on, and more traditional ones, ones that are loosely based on ones from the Wizarding World. A huge range, definitely check them all out before you buy a wand. So the ones in this collection are all on this card, which I don't want to show you just yet. And I've also got another little business card with their branding on. And we've got this mystery package, which I'm not entirely sure what's inside, so let's have a look. No way. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are actually the wand cores. So we've got a feather, a little crystal, we've got the horn, we've got tail feather, We've got tail hair, a little key, a little horn, and also some lumps of gold. So cool. I'm gonna bag these up because we need to see what the wand looks like. Let's seal that back up quickly. And here is the wand, which comes in a lovely little velvet bag with a pull string. But I'm gonna close my eyes. And this, oh, this is the wand. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. <laughs> this is awesome. So this is a magic chamber wand. And the idea is that in the handle, you actually put 
your magic core, so whichever core you'd like to go for, that goes inside and that's what gives you the magic of your wand. So this just screws back into place. I love it. This is amazing. But what we've got here, again, I'd say is more of a traditional look to a wand. It's got nice repeated patterns, repeated shapes throughout the whole thing. Love that the main stem is a dyed blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue you'd call that. Where the wood has taken it in different places, it's got a really nice textured look to it. The parts around here have like a bronze paint look to them, perfectly smooth. And wow, this is amazing. I love it. Again, looking at this wand with the others, it is actually the biggest one out of all of them. Definitely the sort of chunkiest one as well, which gives it a really different look. But even with these three all together, you can see just how varied they all are within their designs, their colours. Not sure about materials, they might be made from... Oh. Not sure about materials, they might be made from very similar types of wood. However, I love this and it does have a very much like a sort of baton feel to it. Almost like an orchestral baton, that sort of thing. I love it, I just love the colours. There is something really exciting about getting a new wand, and I don't care if you're 13, 23, or 113, there is just something magical about getting a wand. And with these ones, I think in particular it's exciting because you do have the chamber, and of course it is only right that I do put my core in the wand. So, what do I go for? I'm going to keep it the same as my Pottermore wand, which is a phoenix feather. This just fits inside. There we have my very own phoenix feather core wand. And do I love it? Boy, I love it. And I think it's just the whole experience about getting all the little individual bits to put in the wand, able to undo it, this would be perfect for, I think, creating some magic with a younger audience, that whole thing about deciding what goes into the wand. And they just, at the end of the day, are beautiful pieces of craftsmanship. And I would happily add even more into my collection because they really are a fantastic quality. The ones that I have, or at least one of them, has lasted me for over 12 years. And so I could not recommend these enough and hopefully you've enjoyed seeing the magic of me opening this wand but there could be some muggles watching so i'm not going to do any magic just yet on camera however a humongous thank you to whirlwood wands who as i say create a huge range of different incredible handcrafted ones and if you do want to look at their whole collection, of course, click the link in my description and you can find something as magical or even more magical than this. Now, that is the end of this video, but if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you can do at the bottom, just there. And while you're here, why not watch some more of my videos, either in this hall, or why not watch this video just here? I've been the Greg Who Lived, and I'm telling you to stay safe, stay magical, and don't let the muggles get you down. Bye.